In East Java, Indonesia, hundreds of miners face deadly smoke to extract sulfur, or devil's gold. Sulfur is used in everything from matches, fireworks, and gunpowder to detergent, paper, and batteries. It's what makes our sugar white. Working conditions inside Ijin Volcano are so dangerous, many miners don't live past 50 years old. Here, he faces the volcano's extreme environment. The air can reach over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The miners are freelance contractors, so they have to pay for their own gear. And many can't afford gas masks. Instead, they use handkerchiefs or towels dipped in water to keep the sulfur powder from sticking. But the smoke from inside the volcano is crucial for sulfur production. This is how it works. When the super hot smoke hits the cooler air outside, it condenses liquid and drips off the pipe. As it solidifies and cools, the sulfur will turn yellow and miners can begin chipping off blocks. It's the sulfur's two colors that give it the name Devil's Gold. This isn't snow, it's limestone. And miners risk their lives to carve it out of the white quarries of Egypt. The valuable rock is at the center of a huge industry. And it's used to make everything from cement and glass to plastic and tiles. It's even what the great pyramids were made out of. But digging up and cutting these precious blocks is really dangerous. First, miners have to set up these two rails. Two separate machines roll along the tracks. They slice the stone into perfect cuboids beneath. As the machines cut stone, they kick up rocks in a haunting white cloud of limestone powder. If there's no wind, miners disappear in it like ghosts. It's easy to inhale the fine dust. And if they breathe it long enough, it can cause a lung condition called silicosis. Injuries, sickness, and death in these mines are widely reported, but there aren't any official numbers. At one point, the life expectancy here was just 45 years old. These men are climbing slippery limestone cliffs, risking falls of up to 100 feet. They're looking for a rare nest made of bird saliva that's found inside caves across Southeast Asia. And they're heading to Nabat Island. It's one of the 7,000 islands that make up the Philippines, and it can only be reached by boat. They get off the boat and walk barefoot across the slippery and sharp rocks. They make the ladder as they're climbing up. They tighten the bamboo with rope. Then they attach a piece of wood called kalitang to the ladder. But advanced bushadors like him sometimes use little to no support, only their hands and feet. This is the most dangerous way to climb. After spotting the nests, Alvin uses a spray bottle filled with water to loosen them. They are then gently peeled away from the cave walls. After harvesting, the bushadors clean them to remove any feathers or branches. Then they divide them by their hardness and color. <laughs> 